Welcome to the review of the second episode of The Bad Batch. And it came pretty quickly, but I guess it does make sense because um, when Disney usually starts their streaming services, they put one episode on out for one specific day and then they put it out for another specific day in the same week and then it just sticks with one day a week. Luckily, unlike The Mandalorian, hopefully, the episodes will come out a bit sooner, unlike The Mandalorian, where you had to literally wait for every Friday, except for like the first two episodes. Hopefully, this series will stick with Tuesdays, because I don't think I can go back to waiting for Fridays. But continuing on... What did I think of the second episode of The Bad Batch? Well, we're going to get into it. So the episode begins with Bad Batch Shuttle. And, of course, Echo has completely passed out after looking through all the hallways and areas of the ship. And it's a sweet moment, I guess. And Echo is like, what are we going to do with her? She's a child. And Hunter said, basically, we'll figure it out. They eventually arrive to their destination. um, And they eventually land on the planet. And they walk on the planet. Omega, after they land on the planet, is very fascinated with the dirt. Which, it makes sense. Because Omega, the only world she has seen is Kamino. She isn't like the other clones who've been around the galaxy. Um, and this is even mentioned in the first episode. She's fascinated. Um, the Bad Batch and Omega keep walking. Eventually, they head to their destination. Um, they we have the old classic rope trap. Which, of course, they do make fun of this trope with just a rope being a trap. Like, you trip over the rope and it just causes, like, a cage or something like that. And they have a laser sensor after they thought the rope was the trap. And a bunch of droid decoys come out where Wrecker completely blasts them. And, of course, we see someone from the Clone Wars. We have Cut and his wife and his children. I did not remember this clone's name for a while. I didn't even know the name until I pulled up the subtitles. So, yeah. Never knew that clone's name when that Clone Wars episode came out. And, of course, um, Omega plays with um, their children, and they also, the children, also address Wrecker as Uncle Wrecker. And um, the children pull Omega out to um, go play with them, and we get to see them um, play together. At some point, um, Cut asked where Crosshairs was, and Hunter said it was too complicated to explain, but he figured it out. Meanwhile, um, they're playing, and Cut also asks what's up with the girl. Hunter explains that Omega is a defective clone, which Cut has a different perspective on the clone, because he said the Kaminoans always have a purpose, like you guys, for example, and he was wondering what was Omega's purpose, which is a pretty good question, and then... The um, this is not a they continue on the plane. Ooh, I forgot Echo, to mention, Captain Rex did get a name mentioned in this really episode. And what Rex basically did in this away. mention was let them know about the upcoming clones. I forgot to mention that detail. Um, 
later, a ragtag um, band of clones struggles for Omega survival. Omega and the children are still playing ball. It went over a fence. And their choices Omega will tried their grabbing fate. it. First time, the children tried galaxy. warning her not to go to get the ball. They'll get it later. But, of course, she doesn't listen because, as the mother says, which she says a lot... Um, kids always get into trouble, and yes, that is true. Omega goes over the fence to grab the ball, and guess what we see? That cat alien from Attack of the Clones, which, that's a pretty nice detail. Um, referencing the prequels, and it gives us an idea where those things come from. Which was something that we really didn't know. But continuing on, um, the children warned their mom that Omega went to get the ball. Um, the mom is a really good shot, I will admit that. Um, Hunter, after the mom saved Omega from the, the bobcat thing in Star Wars, Hunter basically yells at her, but... Cut takes it calmly and acts like a parent and mentions that she is not a soldier. Eventually, um, Omega goes in the ship and also, meanwhile, in the ship, um, Echo and Tech are planning a way to get past because, oh yeah, um, they have, uh, like, clearance codes or some sort of code to identify certain people in um areas so they can um transport and that stuff and so tech finds a way to try to copy them so their plan is is getting their ship stolen and of course hunter is not happy with that Eventually, um, they make it to their destination, they grab the discs, and also, um, Hunter mentions when they leave, um, well, Cut and his wife leave, to take Omega with them to keep her safe and give her the life that she needed. After they grab the discs, um, Omega runs off with them to give them to the family, which Omega has no idea that Hunter is sending her with them, which, of course, I'm going to spoil this right away. Um, Yeah, she doesn't go with them. She um goes back with the Bad Batch, which was kind of a stupid decision. Like, I get why she was doing it, but that was really a dumb choice, including how the clone troopers were like, oh, hey, hey, there's that kid we're looking for eventually they do escape um um omega basically goes like i chose you um and i want to stay with you hunter says that he th needs things to work on and then the episode ends that's basically how it ends what did i think of this episode it was all right not as good as the first one, in my opinion. Like, it still has its moments. And I even double-checked um, the episode. Like, I watched the thing twice to make sure that it wasn't just that Clone Wars vibe that was getting into my head just in case it was a bad episode. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. I had to rate this episode maybe like a 6 out of 10 because, as I said, this episode wasn't great, but there were some things that were wrong with it, and it didn't have a strong impact. But that happens with shows sometimes. But anyway, what did you think of the second episode, if anyone is going to watch this video? Tell me in the comments. Have a nice day, guys.